In this lecture, we will see what are eigenfunctions of a continuous time LTM system. So it is said that the e to the power s t is an eigenfunction of continuous time LTM system. Means what is an eigenfunction? Eigenfunction of LT system are the inputs for which the output is also on the same form. Means if it is a complex exponential, then output will also be a complex exponential with multiplication of some complex number. So here lambda is some complex number. There is some complex number known as Eigen value of the LTA system. So this lambda is known as the Eigen value of this system, and e to the power s t. This is known as the Eigen function of LTA system. Okay, so let us calculate the output. So say this is h of t. Of an LTA system, and we are applying a complex exponential e to the power s t here. S is a complex variable or complex frequency, sigma plus j omega. So when we apply to the power s t, we can get y of t as h of t with this function to the power s t. So y of t is equal to h of tau to the power s t minus tau d tau which is h of tau to the power s t into minus s tau d tau we can write this this is h of tau e to the power minus s tau d tau and this thing multiplied with e to the power s t now if you compare with it this equation with this equation means giving an input e to the power s t we get lambda into that e to the power s t so here we can see that this is one lambda or eigen value so here the eigen value lambda is d tau okay and this is also represented as h of s and further in this course we will see that this lambda or h of s which is the laplace transform we will see what is laplace transform laplace transform of the impulse response h of tau and this is also known as the transfer function of the system okay so this is about eigen functions and eigen values of an lta system so we have seen that the complex exponential e to the power s t where s is a complex number sigma plus j omega works as an eigen function of an LTA system and uh, the eigen value is a complex number given as the laplace transform of the impulse response h of s which is given here okay. so h of s is equal to Okay, thank you. See you next time.